All right, I got the carpet ordered. I got it from uh, stockinteriors.com and I ordered the regular cut pile, not the uh, plush pile. And then I also added the mass backing to it. Um, it's kind of a heavier duty rubber material on the back. Um, it's got some additional padding underneath where, the, uh, where your feet go. Um, so today I'm gonna be working on trying to get this carpet in and get it installed. Um, I've left the screws or the bolts in where uh, the seat mounts to so I can cut the carpet in the proper spots. And then I also took out my uh, four-wheel drive uh, shifter. Um, I left the, the main plate still there so I can feel where it's at so I know where to cut, but I actually took the, the shifter out so I can dry fit this thing. I gotta take the gas pedal off. Uh, the carpet's pretty big, so I'm thinking it's gonna need some trimming. I don't know. I'm gonna try to push it up underneath there as much as I can, so we'll see what uh, we'll see what happens with it. Um, this is what came in the mail. Uh, but it actually, I ordered it from stock and I don't know if you can see it or not but I ordered it from stock interiors um, it was about half the price of what I found on ACC's website so I don't know if it's the same product or what's going on but uh, anyways it was probably like 200 225 something like that so um, anyways I'll update you a little later all right this is my next update I'm still not done and I can tell you if you're somebody that's got a short temper like me when it comes to little tiny things frustrating me. Somebody just smacked me in the face and I'm not gonna get as pissed off as I get with this thing. Um, it's, you know, it's molded, but I have marks everywhere where the screw holes and stuff go. I'm hoping that um, once I start putting the screws in, it'll start forming a little bit better, but I have been pushing and mold, pushing this thing in for I don't know, a good solid hour trying to work it into place and it's still, I don't, I don't know what's going on here. Another issue I'm having is it looks like it might go up the firewall. Um, it has more carpet than what's allowed, but I think I should probably have removed this uh, AC ductwork down here or whatever, but that's another huge job and I just, I don't know if I feel like doing it, so. Um, anyways, just wanted to update you on the progress. It looks like it's lined up okay across the back. So maybe once I start putting these bolts in and getting everything tightened down, this will start forming a little bit better. But it's not, it's not forming as nicely as I wanted it to or thought it would um, just yet. There's also a lot of cramming up in here. I'm trying to get massaged out, but you can see how it's... I mean, I don't know. So, anyways. Alright, I'm still messing with this piece of shit. I'm so frustrated right now. So I've got my four-wheel drive shifter down there. But I cannot get it lined up with the hole that I have cut in the top. I guess I could cut a bigger hole. But I was really wanting to make as minimal cuts as possible. Um... I don't know, I just, it is, just, this is a pain in the ass. If you can find somebody to do it for you for a couple hundred bucks, it might be worth it. Uh, maybe it's just me because I'm in Florida and it's a sauna outside right now. What, I don't know, I might need to go get some lunch because I am just getting beyond frustrated with this piece of shit. All right. All right, next update. It's been several hours, kind of getting it. Um, I've got the boot on. Kind of getting it tucked into here. Got a little bit of, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna, if I'm gonna cut right here. The razor blade, kind of come in a little bit. But I got it kind of tucked into here. There's still some play in it. I don't know, I gotta keep working with it, but it's like 100 degrees outside, I'm like dying. So, um, Kind of coming along. So look at the other side. You can see I'm cutting off, trimming the edges. 
as best I can. This side worked a little, little fit a little smoother. I got the gas pedal off and put the screws through there. I still got a little bit of funky folds or play up here, but again, like I said, it's kind of coming along. It'll be all right once I get the seat in there. Not bad, pretty easy to cut with a razor blade. But this has been, again, several hours of work, so. All right, another video, almost there. It's um, taking me almost all day, but kind of getting it molded. I went and bought some of this 3M adhesive spray from Walmart. It was $11 to try to help uh, hold down some of the areas, but there's still some play in it, so I don't know, man. It's not as tight as I wanted it to be, but I guess you get what you pay for, and this isn't a custom uh, carpeting job, so anyways, almost there. All right, finally got it in. Ridiculously hard. I don't think I'd recommend anybody doing it themselves unless you want to waste a Saturday. Be very frustrated. It's still not perfect. I still got a couple of uh, lumps here. I got to try to work out, but kind of got it. This is a seat I actually had made for it. Uh, found a guy here in Tampa that sewed and did everything for me for. Uh, $400 and he rebuilt the cushions and everything too so that was better <clears throat> than buying the kit to do it myself with L from LMC or one of the other places so I went ahead and just paid him to do it uh, it's kind of expensive but anyway so it's coming along I got a seat in it now we'll see uh, look at the other side here. and you can see the pieces I cut quite a few thin pieces. I kept cutting thin, cutting thin, so that I didn't cut too short. My uh, sill plates will go right here, but um, anyways, that's kind of where we're at right now. See how it wears. I gotta get some uh, floor mats in here. Yeah. 